All right, this is Lo-Fi Brewing Mexican Style Lager. Pure luxury. Comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. Um, got a single of this. Looks like it's brewed in Charleston, South Carolina. Little pink unicorn on the can. Um, there's also a blueberry flavor. I know that. I don't know. It, it's a beer that's always in the single section at um, my local grocery store. So, you know, over the years I've had, you know, one or two or sips of one or two. But I can't remember what the fuck it tastes like. So let's get into it, shall we? So, in the good light, extremely, extremely, extremely pale yellow color, like, this, this might even be more see-through than bush. We're talking that level of, of light yellow. Okay, a little bit ahead. Kind of a standard beer smell, maybe a bit of a sweetness coming from it. Give it a sip. Oh. Alright, don't be fooled by the light color. It's got a, it's got a little bit of flavor. So it's very crisp. Like not much on the tongue. But then once you swallow it, it kind of leaves a bite, which then quickly goes away. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's yeah, it's 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 a, it's a little bite and then it's gone. Oh yeah, very very drinkable. And 5% alcohol by volume. That's, you know, that's a great number. If you had 12 of them, you know, you're going to have a good time. So, yeah, decent carbonation still going. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm appreciating it. It's a good beer. Uh, probably not something I'm really going to pick up on the reg. Um, but yeah, very. I think the drinkability of it is its main selling point. Um, I know a lot of us are kind of sick of seeing unicorns on everything these days. But I try to look at this as a harmless picture because that I think that's what it is on this can at least so kind of cutesy in that sense I guess um but yeah I don't know I guess I'm not I'm not too crazy about the can art yeah it's uh it's it's a decent beer It, it really, truly is. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5.